Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Unobtained. It's me, Puff, and today is gonna be an interesting episode. Last episode, we did a little bit of everything, honestly, and uh, this episode, we're gonna be finally getting back to the grind of Unobtainables. So, uh, we're here in the Villager Tower, if you don't know where this is, and this is a new layer that I've added um, to make these special villagers that I get via upgrade and downgrade between uh, 14W02A and 1.7.10. And I've been doing that for a while in between episodes, just kind of grinding it out, trying to get a, a cool collection of villagers here. So let's have a quick look. We have a leather worker here, which is a leather worker, a butcher, a leather worker, a butcher, uh, and a butcher, a leather worker over again. So we got a ton of trades from him. We got a weaponsmith who also happens to sell tools and uh, armor and weapons and everything. So he has all the professions. We have a cleric that just is a cleric twice. <laughs> we got a toolsmith um, that is also, I believe, a weaponsmith. Yep. A armorer that is also a weaponsmith. Pretty cool. We got a shepherd that is also a fletcher, I believe. Or a shepherd twice, maybe. He has a, uh, a, a double shepherd. A triple shepherd, no less, actually. So, yeah, we get all the colors of wool from him. And we got a shepherd that's also a farmer that's also a fletcher so yeah we got a ton of different trades and we got the air trade um that one if we hover over our uh game will crash so that is everything we had to do this guy last because the air trade like crashes everything and it's kind of funky anyways um that's what i've been up to <laughs> between episodes or yeah off and on here um we still have these guys here i did end up having to load a backup because I a zombie got in here um, but yeah we still got our enchanted books that we really like efficiency 5 unbreaking 3 sharpness 5 those are the three big ones that I wanted to get for free um, of course it would be nice to get all of them but you know I kind of want to play the game somewhat fairly sometimes <laughs> so I have been doing this the door didn't work because zombies could break it down um, so I'm doing that for now uh, and our world's looking pretty good. I have a little moat <laughs> as well because, again, I did not want the zombies to get those guys. Um, so, yeah. Lots of stuff has been happening. That's kind of all I've done, though, in between episodes. I haven't done a whole lot uh, on the world. I've really kind of just been doing that. Uh, as you can see in my uh, inventory, that kind of shows. Um, anyways, I figure that that's enough of those uh, special villagers with the special trades uh, to finally warrant getting out of this version and moving on to another version. Um, so that means it's upgrade time. Uh, yeah. Roll the intro. Okay, not, not quite update. Uh, we're still in 14W02A. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> it's hard to get out of these versions, okay? So, um, a while ago we had some interesting crafting statistic things happen. And we're going to follow on that. So, if we uh, if we go here, this is statistics, and we go to... Uh, oh, no, I think everything got reset. Okay. Okay, after recovering my statistics, at least for the most part... We go here, we have all our good stats from before, I think. Yeah, never know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and have a look, make sure the world is still fully intact. It looks pretty good. I'm not seeing anything crazy. Everything is looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, welcome to the whip building. It's been a while. <laughs> um, so crafting statistics, let's check this out. So if we go and craft a door, we get three doors. Okay, so this means we're going to craft a door three times, at least in the game's uh, statistics uh, thing. That's how it's going to record it. It's going to be like, okay, you crafted the door three times, even though we just did it once. Now, before, in the previous version, we could only get one door at a time. So if we go here, uh, let's see, uh, statistics, we go to items, and we go to times crafted, and we go down to where it says door. Luckily for us, I already kind of pre-planned this a little bit. Uh, and we have two, which is not a multiple of three. So now if we do the door, 
There we go. We've crafted three doors. Let's go to our statistics. Items, times crafted, go down to the door. It still says two. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what? Times crafted, right? Like that's how that should be. Five. Okay, there we go. Cool. Relog and it gets updated. This is still not a multiple of three. And uh, every time we craft three doors, it's not going to be updated the correct way. Or it's going to be updated correctly, but it's going to stay as a non-multiple of three. So officially now our doors crafted statistic is unobtainable um i know absolutely insane and that unobtainable was probably not that exciting so that's why we're going to be zooming through the versions in today's episode we're going to go to the next version 14w04a uh-huh welcome so that's the next version that we're going to check out and the reason is we can do that what <laughs> so yeah if you guys didn't hey if you guys didn't know um snow layers are supposed to turn the grass below them into snowy grass it doesn't do that in this version so unobtainable configuration um so what we can go do is we can put an exhibit into the museum something that we haven't done in a long time and i'm super excited about so let's go over there and let's uh let's, let's add this to the museum or at least that's what we would do if the museum was <laughs> functional um yeah so i've been neglecting this place for a while and uh you wanting to add an exhibit is finally catching up with me. So I think it's time we finally put in the work to make this building actually work. The work to make the building work. Work, 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 work. Okay, yeah. I think we can agree it needs some uh, some more texturing on that section, but I do like the pattern and it's a pattern I wanna keep using throughout the build. It's very simple, but it is kind of satisfying. As you can see, I've already used it everywhere. Um, but yeah, if we go in here, it kind of looks a bit more clean. I like this green pathway because it highlights, it really, Highlights your attention to the center of the building. And then over here we have um, our spooky mobs. And then we got the shovel knight. And then we got... I moved the uh, the guy out front to here. I don't quite know where I'm going to put the uh, battle signs yet. They're just hanging out right there. Um, but yeah, then we also got this guy which needs a new home. Weird rendering stuff going on here. Um... In fact, I ha there's a bunch of rendering glitches I want to show you guys towards the end of the episode. Anyways, guys, basically what I'm after is some suggestions to make this wall look better. Um, I like this background pattern, but I don't know what to do with the, uh, you know, decoration. It's pretty bland right now. Give me some suggestions. Um, I'll put a link to a world download of the world as it is in this episode so you guys can download it and check out this wall and kind of do your own thing. And once I got a design for this side done, I'm just going to copy it over for this side after I take down that mountain. Anyways, experiment time. So this is how we're going to decorate the hallway here. And so far, so good with the glowstone right here. So basically, if we do our design like this, we should be good to go to have a really interesting hallway design because it involves having an unobtainable, um, but we don't necessarily need to make an exhibit out of it. And that's something that I'd like to continue doing um, because it kind of is cool, right? If you guys think I should make an exhibit of this, please let me know because, uh, yeah, I, I do want to do that um, if you want something like that. Anyways, let's move on. All right, so I know a lot hasn't actually been done to this building, but we've made some progress. We've put up a wall and uh, added some s snow grass that's unobtained, <laughs> unobtainable. <laughs> um, anyways, I wanted to end today's episode with something... Pretty interesting so visual glitches I've noticed a lot throughout playing in this version um, so far and uh, I'm not if some of you probably would have caught little snippets of what I'm about to show you uh, throughout the video but uh, be prepare yourself for some some absolute uh, carnage here all right uh, so just let's just uh, do a little bit of that and let's uh... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, so you guys can see immediately something's off. Um, my, yeah, the, my face is all in the wrong direction. <laughs> my shoulder pads are on one arm. Everything's stretched out crazy. There's there's clipping going on. My my head is empty. I mean, that's, that's not new. But, uh, you know, we got so much stuff going on. It's crazy. And... 
uh yeah that's one thing that i've noticed the other thing is let's go let's go to f1 mode look at my hand it's all messed up too um there is an instance in where like if we keep relogging i think it changes sometimes like i don't know it, it seems to change every once in a while to where like my hand is invisible there's things that trigger it i don't quite know what um, let me quickly jump down here and take it back off. But yeah, I don't have a face anymore. Um, it kind of looks like my torso is my face. Like if I, like right here and here, right in the skin is like my eyes-ish. And that's my like nose. And uh, it's so weird looking. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So if you look at my skin, you can see there's like a hole right there. You see it, guys? Like right below my uh, cursor. There's like a hole in my in my in my character's model, going straight to the arm, and then there's a hole in the uh, there's a hole in my legs. What is going on? There's holes everywhere. Um, but yeah, interesting to say the least. Thank you guys for watching the episode. Um, I'm gonna end it there. Uh, however, as my most recent tradition that I have started, hopefully you guys are kind of catching on. I talk about something interesting at the end of every episode. Um, in this episode, I don't have any particular comments. Um, I just wanted to uh, kind of do a quick update about uh, the channel and uh, where I'm at. So, yeah. Um, you may have noticed my videos have been coming out a lot slower for the past six months since the beginning of the year, really, has been a lot slower. And that's just because a lot of life changes have happened in my life. And um, some for some good, some bad. Uh, but in general, I've been uh, slowly but surely kind of dealing with these these challenges. And um, yeah, that, honestly, it's just been a roller coaster of a year so far for me. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can kind of end it on a good note is my, is my hope. I kind of, my summer hasn't been the greatest, if I be honest with you guys. <laughs> um, but... It's, uh, it's, it, you know what, it's, uh, it's still warm outside, so at least I can be happy about that. Um, and then as far as the YouTube channel and YouTube goes, I'm not quitting or anything. I'm just going to be a bit slower. I'm trying to be really kind to myself currently in the situation I'm in. So that, uh, yeah, YouTube is kind of a fun hobby for me, and I really don't want it to change into something that's like a chore, um, if that makes sense to you guys. Uh, I've, I've gotten to the point where I know when I start to feel it becoming a chore and I've kind of tried to stop myself. Um, a lot of YouTubers talk about burnout and everything. Um, I personally, I, I've definitely experienced it, you know, just making content because making content can often be really, uh, really demanding of your time. It's one of those things that you can always find a mistake. You can always find something to change. You can always find a way to re-record something. Um, but I'm really trying to not be as critical to just get episodes out currently. Um, so hopefully you can be a little bit forgiving with the quality of videos currently. But uh, I, I do, I do, I will be back properly at some point. Um, it might be next year. This might have been just my oddball year. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are uh, okay with that. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video whenever that is. Should be, uh, you know, not too long, hopefully. All right. Anyways, see ya. Bye.